Today, I'm going to show you how to make custom items with abilities that trigger when you right click them. And thank you to Dynabrick for editing this video. Let's get started. So there's a few different methods for this, but I'm going to be showing you the carrot or warp fungus on a stick one. Now they both attract mobs, carrot on a stick attracts pigs and warp fungus attracts striders, but since you're not nearly as much around striders, we're going to be using warp fungus on a stick. The way it's going to work, if we do scoreboard objectives add, right click, used, colon, warp fungus on a stick, and then we set it on the sidebar. If we right click, then you see the score is going up. For now we'll just remove it uh, and I'll show you why later and I'll just go and generate the command. If you don't know how to do that, watch my video on that. Let's just paste it in here, so it needs redstone then always active. Here we've got the undead raid spawner. So now let's open our data pack. You see here we've got the stuff from last video. We're just going to leave that there and inside the load function we're going to add a line underneath here which adds the scoreboard. This means that you don't have to manually add it to every single world and it will just automatically do it. So that's the exactly the same command that we used before and this right click you can name it anything but I just like to use right click because that's what it is detecting. And then we're going to execute as all players with a score equal to in curly brackets, right click, remember this needs to be whatever you called your score, equal to one dot dot, which means one or more. So we'll do at at s, I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time, and we'll run the command say click. Now free reload, okay, I'll just set it on the sidebar, and now if I right click, it starts spamming click. The problem with this is, for one it's spamming and the other thing if we're using the other one then it still updates the score but we only want it on the custom item and not the generic warp fungus. So in the check we're going to add the condition that they have an N the NBT equal to and then we're going to use something from last video. We're going to have selected item curly brackets ID and it will be Minecraft colon warp fungus on a stick and it's going to have the tag of undead spawn colon 1b because that is what I put in the command. So now if we reload, so there you go, it's loaded but if we're holding, if we hold this one it spams it and if we hold this one it doesn't. But the last thing we're going to add is scoreboard players set at a right click to zero and you see the score zero and if we click this it will only say it once instead of spamming it. So now we're going to add a file called use undead spawner. Oh, I forgot to add .mc function. In our tick function, instead of saying click, we're going to run the function and it's going to be use undead spawner. And then inside of here, we're going to summon some undead mobs. So let's summon a zombie with a tag of undead and I'll show you why in a sec and we'll just copy paste that line a couple of times change this one to skeleton and then we'll copy paste that just have some variety okay so now we've got a lot of undead mobs we're going to do a spread players command which will just spread the mobs around us a bit instead of putting them all in the same position so spread players tilde tilde one ten and then at e tag equals undead. That basically is just going to spread the mobs around us a bit. Tag at e remove undead and that's going to mean that any mobs that survive from this one aren't going to be spread around next time it gets used. But anyway yeah you can do pretty much anything with this, replace anything in the function with anything you want, change around the tags. You can also have multiple of these so if if you want you can just like copy paste this place this undead spawn with, with whatever you want and the function with whatever you want that will still work because it you can only have one of them in your hand at a time. You should probably also check if it's in your off hand because you can still right click things in your off hand. That is how to make items with right click trigger abilities and if you want to learn how to make custom swords the next video will be all about that. Goodbye!